He is a legend. Let's welcome Martin P. Robinson. Thank you. Thank you for those very kind words, but I think I've got another 10 years of climbing inside and hoisting up Snuffy to be considered a legend. Uh, it has been delightful being associated with that sweet character. Let me try something. I was talking to some puppeteers earlier. I don't have any other puppeteers up here with me. So let me know. Just, you know you can trust me, right? right. So close your eyes. Close your eyes. Bird! Bird! Where is he? We're supposed to have a play date. Oh, dear. Whoa. <laughs> Look at all these fancy people. <laughs> I must have taken a wrong turn at Hooper's store. Uh, anybody here seen my best friend, Bird? Big, tall, yellow guy. Oh, well, he's out there looking for me someplace. Stop. I better go find him. Well, have a nice, I don't know, whatever you're doing here. <laughs> See ya. Your eyes are open now. Oh, you just missed him. God, he was right here. Oh, every time. Oh, I'm very lucky to be able to do that for a living. Uh, and they pay me. Uh, these days, <laughs> these days especially, we're working with a wonderful new crew of uh, a whole new generation of new creative performers in our business, in the puppetry, uh, puppetry business. What am I? Oh, Emmy Awards, Emmy Awards. Okay, okay. Giving out Emmy Awards. My first three categories tonight are all honoring various aspects of preschool animation. This is the fastest growing area of the Emmys competition, making these categories particularly competitive. Here are the nominees for outstanding editing for a preschool animated program. Beepers, Cartoon Network. Go, go, Corey Carson, Netflix. Octonauts and the Ring of Fire, Netflix. Stillwater, Apple TV Plus. Trash Truck. Netflix. I have pre-opened this. And the Emmy goes to Trash Truck. Except accepting the Emmy is Sally Burgo. Is that a leg? <gasps> what is that? <laughs> it's the boss fly. Ninja, ninja fly. <laughs> cool. This was like, um, it's my first date night after having a baby, so like... Uh, but thanks so much, this is uh, a labor of love. Trash Truck was a preschool series that we wanted to be very like... I mean, this wasn't a great example because it was an action episode, but something that was a little bit more calm, a little place for, you know, kids to just sit and rest in a moment and um, have the imagination and the time to play. Um, but I want to thank uh, Netflix, I want to thank GKP, Glen Keane Productions, um, I want to thank my husband who's here on my date night, thankfully it's him. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, I want to thank my editorial team and uh, yeah, that's it, okay, bye. <laughs> Writers are next. I just love writers. I'm married to my 
favorite writer. Uh, during the lockdown, she wrote a novel and a stage play and, of course, took care of everything else in our family. Uh, in our community, represented here today, the animation sector barely slowed down in March 2020, and the quick transi transition from working from home led to a boom in animation. The writers nominated tonight have all contributed to educating and entertaining preschool-aged children during a particularly uncertain time in our history. The nominees in outstanding writing for a preschool animated program are... Ada Twist, Scientist, Netflix. Alma's Way, PBS. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, PBS. Molly of Denali, PBS. Muppet Babies, Disney Junior. And Emmy goes to... Yes. Muppet Babies. Accepting the Emmy is Robin Brown. I'm Princess Summer. What's your name? Uh, you can call me... Gonzarella. Hey, oh, Gonzarella. Gonzarella. Well, we're happy to have you, Gonzarella. And your dress is simply fabulous! Let's all greet each other with a princess curtsy! Uh, sure! <laughs> curtsy! Thank you so much for acknowledging all the hard work of these amazing writers, especially Gia's wonderful script, Gonzarella. Gia, Max, Becky, Sarah, Hannah, and I know that we're up here tonight in large part because of the incredible Jim Henson and his team who originally created the Muppets, but it's also because of the exceptional team that we were lucky enough to be a part of. Thank you, Tom Warburton, who always pushed us to make this show the most fun for kids that we possibly could. To Matt Danner, Guy Moore, Chris Hamilton, and all the other colleagues at Oddbot Studios who poured their heart into every episode and to Cassie, Jessica, Alyssa, and especially Joe at Disney Junior, who risked more than you would believe to allow us to tell this story. Thank you. Finally, in the preschool animation section, we have directing. As a puppeteer, you know, we have little actors on our arms, uh, you know, little, little actors of a sort. The director gives you direction, you follow the, dire the direction. At the end of the day, a little editing, a little sweetening, boom, you're done. I don't know how they direct all those nutty little animated characters in a 24 frames a second. Somebody's got to explain this to me. I haven't got the patience. Uh, this year's nominees for Outstanding Directing for a Preschool Animated Program are... Ada Twist, Scientist, Netflix. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, PBS. Go, go, Corey Carson, Netflix. Muppet Babies, Disney Junior. Stillwater, Apple TV Plus. Storybots, Learn to Read, Netflix. Stillwater. Accepting the Emmy is June Falkenstein. Like this Stillwater? Just like that. I'm so pleased to have you help me make Tong Yuan. As you can see, they take a lot of work. I think it's fun. Yeah, even though the rice is kind of sticky. I like the sticky. There. That looks pretty good, Carl. I think so too, Michael.
All right, wow. <laughs> uh, I really want to thank um, Apple, Gamont, and Scholastic for greenlighting such an amazing, kind, thoughtful show about emotions that really helps kids process their emotions and, and tough things like that. Um, I want to thank John Muth for his wonderful source material. Uh, I want to thank co-showrunner Rob Hoagie for all of his, and his great writing team. Um, our, our partners, Polygon Pictures, Foss Studio, who did their, this wonderful, beautiful animation for us. Um, all of my in-house crew and cast, and especially, of course, my three directors. Gary, you couldn't be here. Uh, Roy, you couldn't be here, but Amber is here. Yay! <laughs> Uh, I really also want to thank Carrie Silver, who had my back throughout the pandemic. Most of this was produced <laughs> during the pandemic at home. And um, don't forget, when you're feeling stressed, like I am right now, as <laughs> Stillwater says, take a deep breath and count to five. Thank you. Before I turn it over once again to JoJo, uh, the final category I'm presenting is also honorator, honoring directors, this time for animation. While preschool animation is for the little ones, the animation category is broader with a wide range of shows and viewers. This year's nominees and outstanding directing for an animated program evidently really wowed the judges this year. They are. Arlo the Alligator Boy, Netflix. Carmen San Diego, Netflix. Ciao Alberto, Disney Plus. City of Ghosts, Netflix. Doug Days, Disney Plus. Hilda and the Mountain King, Netflix. City of Ghosts. Accepting the Emmy, Elizabeth Ito. Maybe I can make a map too. Uh, where are we again? Most people call this Los Angeles but its Tongva name is Tovanga. And over there where downtown is, was once a large village called Yanga. I would love to experience the Los Angeles River before it was paved in. Uh, I can't believe it. Um, the first, I have a list of things that I scribbled out in my notes. Um, one, I, I wrote, thank you to the Tongva people for this land. Um, you should have this land back. Um, so that's a good clip that we should. Uh, two, thanks to the ghosts in this theater for having my back. Um, it's definitely ghosts in this theater, I think. Yeah. We know, right? Um, Thanks to the Academy voters for proving my cynicism wrong and uh, recognizing something so unique that um, I, it was so quirky and personal and special that uh, I'm, I don't know if I'll ever be able to replicate this in my entire life. So <laughs> thank you for recognizing that. Um, thank you to Netflix for making the show. We should have made more, but I'm really glad that we made what we did. Um, I, I want to say thanks to Jill uh, Sanford and Jenna Boyd, who are the reason that I was able to be there to do it. Um, thanks to my dad, my mom, my brother, um, my kids, Rosalind and Newton and Kevin, who um, proved me wrong. You're right, I won, I won something tonight. <laughs> um, uh, and congrats to our entire crew. Um, I don't know, every single person on my crew, uh, you totally rock, and I would not be up here without any of you, so thank you. 